Hello and welcome. I hope this is going to be an exciting video today. Um, this is something I've been waiting for for a little while and um, it's finally arrived. So we're going to unbox this together um, and talk a little about, a bit about um, PRS and um, yeah, see where we get to. So um, yeah, this rather large box has turned up after a bit of a delay um, from um, DHL. So I'm actually it's very excited um, and um, you know, I think it just got stuck for one one or two days in the uh, in the depot, so <laughs> that's never exciting because you're like, oh, I really want this, I really want this. Um, but yeah, so um, it's actually come in quite a sturdy box. This is a secondhand guitar, um, but it's a pretty new model, and um, yeah, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but I'll give it. You know, obviously we'll talk about it as we go, um, but. Suffice to say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you here and I'm going to attach you to this so that I can go a little bit easier on the day. So basically, this is um, this is going to be, should be, I really, really hope, um, a PRS SE Paul's guitar. Now that technically is what was in the, um, in the photographs. I've got a pretty good deal on this. Um, I've been keeping an eye on it. And that's how I can afford guitars for the channel and that sort of stuff, by the way. So if you do like this content, please do um, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Because that really, really massively helps me. To be fair, even you just watching this, it really, really helps keep the channel going. Um, so I've wanted one of these for a little while. I essentially, I've got Fenders, I've got Gibsons, I've got all the rest, really enjoy playing them. Um, but I've found over the years what I really like is um, I enjoy the sound of a Strat, but I really love the neck feel of a Les Paul. Um, and that obviously is, um, I mean, they're, they're kind of mutually exclusive, aren't they, really? Um, it's kind of a bit difficult to get both in one. But I went to the guitar shop the other day and I tried one of these PRSs. Now what I might do is zoom you out a bit. I might give you a bit of a, hey, there we go. Now you can see a lot more of what's going on. Um, I saw and I played, after I've played so many guitars now uh, in this hunt for um, what I really liked. Um, I tried the uh, Gibson Les Paul Special. I tried um, the PRS um, McCarty's. A whole load of different things, various fenders. I have to say the Fender American Original came pretty close to what I was looking for because I really, really want a big fat neck on my guitar. Um, at the moment, that's the way I'm feeling. Um, and uh, this actually looks like a, t a telly box, I have to say, um, that they've sent this in. Which, to be fair, it's probably quite sturdy. Um, oh. That lovely tape sound. Let's get rid of some of that. Let's get rid of some of that. And um, yeah, it's not been it's not been an easy search, and it's taken me a very long time to get to the point I'm at now um, and making this purchase. And um, listening to various demos, there's been some really good demos out there um, of this guitar. And. Um, I really like playing, you know, from Hendrix upwards to, to Slash and, um, you know, I mean, if I can, um, play a little bit of Polyphia, poly, I should say. How much is it? Polyphia. Um, anyway, Polyphia. All that, I, love, I like to play different genres, but it's not always that easy. But I've always found, I've got, I'm quite a, um, I mean, everybody's different shapes and sizes. I happen to be quite a big person. Um, with big hands, um, which may not may or may not be obvious on the screen, actually, that they look pretty small and slim, but um, I am big. <laughs> so that means that um, I, and I've got quite, I've got relatively a, a decent span in my hand, um, which means that actually a really slim neck, I, over the years, I've just found it more and more uncomfortable. Yes, I can get on with it. Yes, I can play it. Um, but the sort of st standard kind of slim C neck profile, um, I've just found, uh, I don't want to say it exactly makes me, my hand cramp up, 
Um, but it feels like it's going that way, uh, you know, sometimes. And I think, oh, this is, you know, it's, it causes me a bit of fatigue. And then I watched um, a great video of um, a rhythm, rhythm blues guitar, actually, a uh, lesson by um, Corey Congiglio, Corey Conglio, something like that. I'll link to his video and I apologise for massacring his name. Um, but his videos are great. He's a fantastic teacher. And um, he was demoing a, uh, a Les Paul special, uh, sorry, a Murphy Labs um, Gibson Les Paul a uh, worn guitar and it was fantastic but the main point he was making was um, that actually a, um, a guitar with a fatter neck is actually a lot easier to play than a guitar with a slim neck if you look at the if you look at the the, the way your hand sits naturally it kind of you've got this this cup here and actually for a, for a wider neck, from certainly for my hand, it sits much more comfortably in um in that in that cup of my hand when I'm playing it, and I don't uh, otherwise I'm having to do this kind of like pincer movement on a really slim neck, and I find that has really it does cause a lot of fatigue for me. So um so yes, I've been on the hunt for that magic um, that is that gives you the sort of straps kind of sounds. Um, but also full humbucker because I do like uh, my slash down too um, on a really meaty neck now this PRS I hope as I say this PRS SC Paul's guitar for which it's emerging it's emerging um, excitement um, the one I played has got a it's called a wide fat neck um, and I'll be doing a full review on this guitar as well anyway but I wanted to get an unboxing out there for you to see and enjoy. Um, it, so I'll be going through full specs and everything, but the main point with this guitar is that it has a, uh, a big chunky neck, relatively speaking, a much, much chunkier neck than a, uh, than a standard Fender. So we'll get rid of this box, huge box. I actually have to say that this is some of the best some sort of packaging that I've seen someone do. It is an old television box. It's actually really good because that's, I think, I hope that's protected the guitar quite nicely. And it's got the foam in there. I would say they didn't actually put anything at the headstock end, so I'm really hoping that's okay. Um, that could also, we have some, we have some wiggle. We have some wiggle. Oh no. Does that mean we have a broken headstock? Flipping it, but I hope not. Um, so let me bring you in so we can see this a bit better. Um, yeah, so really it's just, it's, it's trying to get something which is, uh, is able to do a number of things. Um, now you could argue, do you want a guitar which is master of, you know, um, jack of all trades, master of none? That's exactly what I didn't want to get. Um, I wanted to get something which is gonna, you know, do a bunch of, oh, 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 oh bunch of different things um so ouch bugger excuse my french it's got a giant chip out of the headstock that's not cool they didn't mention that um hmm I'm not impressed right okay well, the guitar is here. Um, it looks overall pretty nice, but yeah, that chip is clearly not very nice. Um, so yeah, a bit gutted with that, to be honest. Um, the guitar otherwise looks basically okay. Um, yeah, a couple of knocks and bits and pieces, maybe, that perhaps should have been mentioned in the listing, but weren't. So anyway, that will be uh, certainly mentioned to them. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the guitar, guys. Um, it does, as I say, it has that nice sort of big chunky neck, but um, obviously that's not very good. So I either want a massive discount or actually, you know what, before I even go any further, um, it's either a massive discount or this is going back. So yeah, that does kind of suck. So yeah. Yeah, okay, well, there's the guitar. 
It is very nice. It's basically what I thought it was going to be, aside from the big chip on the headstock. So that is a bit gutting, to say the least. So we will see where we get to from there. And yeah, I will keep positive and I will update in the next video. And we'll, whatever it is in the next video, whether it's a review of this or whatever, um, yeah, I will tell you exactly what, what happened with this. Um, whether it stayed, whether it goes, whether I got a deal, um, what was going on. So yeah, okay. See you in the next one, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, enjoy.